Welcome everyone. It is a beautiful day in South Carolina. Every day is a beautiful day. This is a great, this is a great event today and a great feeling. And it's always important for us to remember what law enforcement does for us in South Carolina and around the country. I believe that our law enforcement is the best in the entire country. From what I've seen, what I've been, and it's a great honor to honor our heroes in blue and the understanding, respect, and compassion that they represent. Just something quickly before I proceed with Pastor Ibarra, and that is I remember years ago when I heard parents telling their children that if you don't behave, the sheriff's going to get you. The police officer, the policeman's going to get you. And I remember particularly at an event one time, it was an outside event, a lot of children, I think it was some sort of a birthday party, and the sheriff of Richland County was there years ago. And one mother came up to her little son, who was a little bit rowdy, and said, son, if you don't behave, the sheriff is going to get you. And the sheriff said, went down on one knee and said, Sonny, he says, I'm not here to get you. I'm here to protect you. If you ever need anything, you call me. And I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing more comforting when you need help and nothing else will do to have somebody say, the police are here. What great words. We don't like to hear them too often, but when we need them, they are there. And most of us here get up in the morning and put on a tie maybe, a shirt, maybe a blouse, something soft. We have to remember that our heroes in blue don't do that. Most of them get up in the morning and put on a bulletproof vest. Why do they do that? Well, I know if I'm here and I'm crossing the street, if I'm not careful, I'm, I might get hit by a car if I'm not careful. I know if I don't watch my step on the steps here at the state house, I might, might slip, might hurt myself, or if I walk too fast, might bump into somebody. But these heroes in blue put on that bulletproof vest because they don't know when somebody might shoot at them, trying to kill them. I tell you, law enforcement is not for everyone, but for those who enter that arena. We owe it all. Without them, none of us could do what we do in our daily lives with safety and happiness. So I'm proud to be a part of this ceremony today. Ms. Elias, our, our hats off to you, Alaya, for not only the way that you have endured the tragedy and suffering and grief which we all share with you losing your husband Greg two years ago today but the way he, you have responded to be a, a model and inspiration for all of us to promote the safety and happiness of all of these people so I, I thank you Cassie and Leah 